Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and blessings upon you all. Dear students, um, here we are doing a factorial program, okay? And a factorial program in 808 assembly language. But we know if we have factorial program, that means if, for example, we have a number 5, so factorial of 5 is 5 into 1 lesser than 8, that is 4, lesser than 1, 3 into 2 into 1. That is 5 into 4 is 20, 20 into 3 is 60, into 2 is 120, into 1 is 120. So answer is 5 factorial is equal to 120. So that means any number we have, we have to minus it with 1 and multiply it with itself. Then whatever the answer comes of these two, we have to multiply it with 1 lesser than this. Then whatever the answer comes between these two, 20 into 3, that is 60, okay? Multiply it 1 lesser than 3, that is 2, and then up to 1, and that's it. So, how we do this in assembly language, okay? Let's try to understand it. Let me clear the clutter first. And... So, what are we doing here is... Um, we have already learned how to actually get the number from the uh, keyboard. It could be the one digit, two digit, or the DW or DB if you have two digit, or it could be four digits if you have a DW, the word size, that is 16 bit. We have already done uh, the 16 bit number taking and output. We have done how to output 16 bit number and eight bit number, two digit numbers, or any many digit numbers. We have done that. So you will do it off your own. I'm just putting up, I'm concentrating only on a factorial function here. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a DW. So you can have a DB or whatever the uh, numbers you have here. It could be the single digit, two digit, four digit, whatever. So I'm taking just, a, I'm taking a DW, that is the word size, that's 16 bit size data type. And I'm getting a single digit number, hexadecimal number, so 05H. So that means five. Typically, I'm taking 5 in my uh, DW, the num, num, in my num, which is of data type DW. Now, we may have the print string macro. We already know it, how to print the strings, because you may have a lot of strings to print. That is your, that is, will be your, uh, the home task. You will do it off your own, because we have done it many times now. I concentrate only on the factorial rest. You will do it off your own, because we have already done all those things. Now in the code, what I'm doing is we've got a main proc, okay? We've got a boilerplate code, then you will print those messages and scan the number from the keyboard and all those things, whatever you want to write it here. And in my case here, I'm just putting up the number in my DW. So cutting the crap, because you already know all those things. We have done it many times now. Then I call the factorial and I jump to the factorial program where I will do my things. Okay, so this is my factorial program. So in your case, you will have the scan proc, okay? And you can have the print DL proc to print them each and every digit of an answer, okay? You will fill them up, you will fill this code here, you will fill this code here, you will do it of your own, and then accordingly adjust in the main proc how to print all those digits, how many digits we have, okay? But I'm just concentrating on a factorial simple so that I, it will be very fast and quick. So what I'm doing is in my num right now, what is in my num firstly? So in my num, I have the four, five, sorry. In my num, there is a five, right? Um, one second, let me clear this screen draw. So in my num, I have initially five. So num is having five in it. So I am putting that five into the AX register. You can do it many ways, this is one of the way. I am putting the num into the AX register, that means num is also five, now AX is also five, right? Both of them are five, five. And I'm also putting into the CX, the num. So CX is also having five in it, right? So I have CX five, AX five, and num five. All, of, all the three values are five. Now I decrement the CX, so I, the CX becomes four. Now CX is four, okay? Now what I do is here is I decrement num. I make num as four, now num has become four, okay? 
it was initially 5 now it has become 4 now this was 5 it has become also 4 okay so this is what I'm doing I'm doing the uh, here the decrement CX now I decrement the num I CX and num both of them decremented here then mal num what the mal num means mal num means whatever is in AL do AL into num so whatever is in num multiply it with al because what i want to do if it is a four i want to multiply five with four then with three then with two okay and then last with the end with the one or i could skip this one so that means if this is five this should be multiplied the four this is what i'm trying to do i am saying in my num what is in num that is four so multiply four with whatever is in ax or al okay right in this case because mal the thing is in al so what is in al because i dropped five into the ax so al will be having five okay so that means typically it means this first time the mal num means five into four because four is into the num and five is in the ax register so this time first time around it is in the x is five and num is four because i decremented num that is four okay now i decrement cx the cx becomes three okay and i am seeing jump not zero if cx is not zero because jump after this statement that means if cx is not zero is cx zero no it is three so i should jump to again so i go jump here to the again and i decrement again the num now num will become three and i mull num so what is in the num well, in the in the ax now ax is actually having five into four that is 20 in it so in ax i am having 20 in it now okay so mal num means whatever is in ax that is 20 into the what is in the num num is having 3 so 20 into 3 so this thing happens 20 into 3 now after this i decrement cx again i it becomes 2 and is it 0 no the jump again decrement num it becomes 2 because i want to now multiply 2 with whatever is in ax in ax now i have 5 into 4 into 3 right that is 60 now multiply that with the num num is this time 2 so 60 into 2 will happen now so now 60 into 2 will happen in this time 60 into 2 that is 120 now decrement cx it becomes 1 so is it 0 no go back up decrement num it becomes 1 so multiply 1 with whatever is in ax that is this statement will do that okay then decrement cx again now cx becomes zero now jump not zero but it is zero so it will come back so it will come back so our answer will be in the ax because mul is multiplying the num which i am decrementing again and again into the ax register okay and you can have a shortcut here you can use cx instead of you know num because anytime you have to decrement cx at all right or you can use the num as well because in the num if it, it becomes zero you can come back so you can do that way also or you can do this way right so after it comes back my answer is in the ax because mul num is multiplying num first four first and num was four because i decremented the num first time the num was four so multiply four with the ax register which is having five in it five four twenty so ax register is having twenty in it so next time decrement num it becomes 3 so multiply 3 with 20 okay then answer will be in ax next time decrement again the num it becomes 2 so 2 into whatever is in the ax at that time it was 60 in the ax 60 into 2 that is 120 and now in the num becomes 1 decrement num becomes 1 so 120 into 1 is 120 and in the meantime cx hits 0 it gets out of it so with 120 in the ax register okay now 120 in the ax register it will return to where from it was called it was called here so at that moment what i do is i put ax into the num because whatever the ax was i back put back into the variable num okay so the answer will be in the num or you could have another variable maybe the result or i call okay, i call it a fact dw okay dw question mark and i may put into the fact i may put this ax into the result into the fact variable okay 
uh, I may have I may have because this is a fact so I should use maybe um, I call it result or -E s u l t okay now emulate it let's try to see what will happen here let me put it into the perspective okay now what I'm doing here is I go single step first the it will get the address of the data register x into this okay then if I do again single step now where is it it put up uh, into the x single step again now 5 goes into the x now it is uh, actually this here is the instruction now after that is move num into cx so whatever is the num single step so 5 goes because in the num was 5 that goes into the ax after that it goes to cx now decrement cx now cx becomes 4 okay cx becomes 4 now multiply the num with the ax so it, it gets into it so it is a hexadecimal 14 okay uh, because it's a hex in hex hex uh, then go for the single step again is is cx 0 no it is not it's 3 go back to again and decrement the num okay uh, so num will be, become one lesser multiply num with this so it goes on and goes on until the cx hits 0 when the cx hits 0 it finishes okay now cx is 0 it will not jump it will get out of it and go where it will go to the main where from it was called it will return it will return to where it was called it was called here and here it will do what it will put ax into the result uh, do single step and did now in a result we will have an answer so if we see here the variables okay if we see here the variables by pressing the var here and it is a hexadecimal maybe i use the integers so in the result i got 120 i want uh, the integers okay whatever that is now num has become one in the end num becomes one okay but the result is 120 that is in the answer now you can print this 120 using the print dl method and all uh, procedure uh, so this is how we do the factorial program okay uh, where we have to decrement one and multiply it itself is very simple you can if you are not getting it properly you can uh, repeatedly see it and try to see what is in the ax what is in the uh, registers and what happens uh, how it jumps back in the factorial program how it jumps back because uh, cx is not zero so it's gonna jump not zero so it's a conditional jump getting on here and it uh, it will finish the job and print the answer for us hope you got it just watch it use your copy and pen and put up all other things like scanning from the keyboard and uh, and printing the answers try those things now you should be able to uh, do that okay then see you next time until then masalama